Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday. <laughs> um, what is today? The 14th of November. <laughs> so, uh, it's been a few days since I made a video and there's a mess right here. I've got Christmas card stuff and candy that I'm giving my mom. Just, just ignore it. But anyways, I got some, a few things to do today. I got, um, a couple finished objects. I acquisition, actually two of them. Some Happy Mail and a project that I frogged. <laughs> so I wanted to come on here and share it with you. My glasses are super glary right now. So I just laid June down. She's taking a nap. Devin just ran to the store and Jesse is at his grandpa's. <laughs> so uh, I'm taking this opportunity to record a little bit. But uh, we'll start with the finished objects. It's two more of the ornaments by Five Little Monsters. I'll link it down below in the description box. They're doing a free little amigurumi pattern every day through November. Uh, actually, I think it's like 25 days because it's like an advent, but it's in November. So, um, I have skipped a few because I don't have the right colors. And I really wanted to make the reindeer, but I don't have a light color brown in the little small yarn. So, I'm just going to have to skip it and, you know, maybe I can go back and make it another day. But I did make the little ornament. <laughs> it's like an ornament ornament. <laughs> but it's yellow. The lighting's not that great right now. It's yellow and then gray up here. And then I also made the little hot chocolate. <laughs> I was going to make the cup red, but I wanted to save the red in case a different pattern calls for it later. So I went ahead and made it pink. And the cho hot chocolate scenarios and the little marshmallows. It's so cute. So I made these two. And uh, there's been a lot more out. There's an elf now. I think there was a boy elf and a girl elf. A reindeer. Uh, I can't remember what else. But I really wanted, I would like to make the elves and the reindeer, but I don't have the right colors. But that's okay. I'm just making them as I can. Uh, so... That's what I made. For what I frogged is, um, I was working on my sweater the other day. You guys seen it. I showed it. Uh, it's, it was a long-term whip. I started back in February. And then it sat a lot because I just lost interest in it. And I was working on it a lot the last week to do the sleeves. And they're supposed to be big and puffy because that's what the whole point of the sweater was. But I was, I didn't think I was going to have enough yarn because one sleeve was taking up almost all my yarn. <laughs> so I knew I wouldn't have enough for the other sleeve plus the cuffs and the collar so i was just gonna frog the sleeves out and do my own sleeves you know just make it a regular sweater uh but then also didn't like the fact that it was cropped because it was a crop sweater supposed to be a crop top sweater um i did make it longer when i was first making it but i just decided you know what i'm obviously not happy with this particular pattern just the way that it is so i just frogged the entire thing so living in this uh reusable bag <laughs> right here that i got from a trunk or treat i think Oh, no, from the hospital. <laughs> um, it's all my Red Heart uh, Retro Stripes yarn. <laughs> Bunch of little different balls. It's about four skeins all, or four hand, or what am I trying to say? Skeins, yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> all together. Whoop, I'm about to spell it. So I'm just going to save this for another pattern. Actually, I do have another full skein, so I have five all together, I think. Um, I'll make something with it eventually, so I'm just going to save in this bag, since there's a bunch of little balls in there. And I will put them all together eventually for another project. I kind of felt bad at first for frogging it because I put so much work into it, but there's really no point in me finishing something that I'm not happy with just to finish it, you know? So I just frogged it. I spent a long time <laughs> that day frogging it. Luckily, it was easy to pick out all my weaved in ends, which I should probably work on making that harder to do. <laughs> but, um, so now it's in here and I'll put it somewhere and I'll use it eventually. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I did. I haven't crocheted much at all. I did finish also my Marie Curry, but I left it in the living room. I'll show it in another video. I don't want to run in there right now. Uh, so I do have some Happy Mail. So I wanted to um, share it real quick. Hold on. I got some bags that I'm working on sewing. <laughs> of her laying on top of it. Alright. So this is from Laura. Which is Mad Mimi. Um, she has a crochet channel. I think it's Mad Mimi uh, Crochet and Farming or something like that. I can't remember now. <laughs> but she's Laura. And she lives in North Pole, Alaska. Which I told Jesse. We were talking about the other day. And uh, we were in the truck, and I was talking to him. And I said, you know, I know someone who lives in the North Pole. <laughs> we were talking about Santa. And, you know, I, I didn't elaborate that it was the North Pole, Alaska, and not the North Pole. But, and I said, um, he asked me who, and I, I told him who it was. I'm trying to put the thing on her. And then I said, um, her name's Laura. And I said, she's a yarny friend. And he said, is she an elf? <laughs> And I said, I don't think so, but she might know some elves. <laughs> so now, uh, um, Laura, <laughs> you live in the North Pole. Anyways, I got a box from her. 
and she sent me this card with a llama or a pack on it really cute and she basically just um she wanted to send me one of her green mcdonald's buckets because i didn't get any and she got like a six of them <laughs> and uh she hates green everybody knows that she hates green and loves orange i did also get this one from beverly which i love and so she did send me one so now i have two which i'm totally happy about because i love this one i love witches and this is supposed to be a witch uh and inside the bucket is some little skeins of yarn there are five of them if i can get them out i think they're the kind that come with like a magazine like a crochet magazine that's what it reminds me of so there's these ones and the bobbin says uh i take my glasses off knitting and crochet florence and then it's got the, the color this is hacenia blue blossom pink uh Jabina, I can't remember how to say those flowers. Pink. Daisy White. And then Buttercup Yellow. <laughs> so I will use those. And also a little hook. I'm sure this is the one that came with the, the sex. This is the way the kind of hooks that come in there. The like no name ones. So I got those from her. But she also sent me some big stains of yarn. So she sent me some Red Heart Super Saver in lavender. I don't think I've ever had this one. Very pretty light blue i've had a ridiculous amount of this because when i was pregnant with jesse his uh, grandpa on devon's side devon's dad bought me so much of this yarn <laughs> i still have skeins of it from when from that yarn from six years ago so almost seven years ago and then i thought it was funny she sent me green which i needed i don't have any of this color green and i needed it this is patty green to make a christmas tree thing that i want to make so i got this one and she hates green but then i felt special because she sent me an orange and she loves orange I think this is called pumpkin. Yeah. It's the bright, pretty orange. So thank you so much, Laura, for that. I absolutely love these buckets. And I will definitely use them. I didn't get a pumpkin one, but that's okay. I'll live. I'm sure with how popular they were, they will bring them back. This is my ghost one. This is the one that I got myself. <laughs> I actually got two of those, but one's, uh, Jesse's got one. So that was from Laura. I also got some cards today in the mail. Um, these are Thanksgiving cards. One is from Cheryl. Yeah, this is the one from Cheryl. It is a beautiful Thanksgiving card. I love it. Thank you so much. And the other one is from Summer. And it's also a Thanksgiving card. And in true summer fashion, there are stickers. So here's the card. So pretty. There's like glitter on it. It's very pretty. And then she sent me a bunch of stickers. So here's some. And it's just thanksgiving -y sayings little pumpkin little scarecrow and then this cute little turkey <laughs> and this one says happy thanksgiving so those are super cute so thank you so much cheryl and summer <laughs> so okay so that's a happy meal and then also i went to ollie's which is like an outlet store here kind of like big lots i know it's in a lot of other places too because i've seen other people do hauls from there but um and i found something that i bought three copies of <laughs> one for myself one for a christmas gift and one for a giveaway <laughs> actually a giveaway that i'll be doing tomorrow it's the next thankful one um so yeah this was only four dollars and they're normally like 24 dollars. but it is one of the little crochet kits and it's frosted snowman i love frosty this was my favorite christmas cartoon growing up i watched it all the time and they were only four dollars each so that was awesome so if I grabbed me one and then I grabbed one for a giveaway and I was like well I know I'm gonna give someone something that's a crochet kit so I was like I'll grab one for them too <laughs> so it comes with these patterns and these patterns it's the rabbit on there twice I guess it's the hat probably but yeah that train looks all difficult it looks like a lot of pieces <laughs> but I definitely gonna make frosty and it comes with the yarn to make Frosty and Karen. And then I'll have to get more little yarns because it comes with a really small yarn. Uh, which I need to do. I'm going to have to start buying little yarns because I've actually enjoyed it for Emma Groomies. So I'm going to have to stock up, start stocking up on it. But after the new year because I'm on like a yarn buying ban. I guess this counts though. Oh well. We won't, we won't count it. It was only $4. <laughs> but yeah. So that's what I've been up to lately. I've just been, I've been making these couple little ornaments. And I frogged that sweater. It took forever. <laughs> but uh, now I have all that yarn that I can pull out and use for other things. And I did a little bit of shopping. We went Christmas shopping today for the kids. 
got most of their presents, I'm pretty sure. Stock and stuffers and stuff like that. We got, um, I gotta get some more wrapping paper for, uh, specific gifts that come from a specific person. Uh, I don't want to say it in case someone, anyone's watching with their little ones, but you know what I mean. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, I'm supposed to be sewing. I haven't sewed for days. I still have bags everywhere. But they'll be out. I'm trying to hope, I'm hoping to get them out this coming weekend. Uh, like 18th, 19th, 20th, somewhere around there will be tote bags. I think there's 15 of them. And then after that, the rest year, I'm just going to do drawstring bags. Because I just lost my own first tote bags. I don't know. I think I've made so many of them that I'm just kind of bleh of them. <laughs> so I did go through all my fabric and organized it a little bit better. Uh, if you were looking at it, you couldn't tell that it's organized. But I know that it's organized because I know where everything is. <laughs> but um, so these totes, half of them are regular prints and half of them are Christmas prints. And then like I'm hoping to do another a drawstring bag update in the end of November. And then maybe one in early December sometime. And that's probably going to be half Christmas, half uh, regular prints. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about that because I need to work on I need to work on those. <laughs> I got a big stack of Christmas cards right here that's already ready to go. I got a stack under these bills that need stickers on the back of them because I ran out of Christmas stickers. And I can't find them anywhere. My Walmart and our closest Dollar General didn't have any Christmas stickers. And I need them to put on the back, you know. Well, I don't need them. But and I got another stack over here of cards I got to fill out. And then I have a list of a whole bunch of people I need to get their addresses. So I need to, I need to work on that. <laughs> um, but if you want to swap Christmas cards with me, uh, my email's in the description box below. Shoot me an email with your address and I'll gladly send you one. I've gotten a few emails from people that I already filled them out here. I'm just waiting to drop them all off at once. Um, but I've already got, I think there was 40-ish uh, cards right here. There's another like... 10 or so right here that need stickers and then I got I got enough stamps to do like 30 more and then I'll have to buy more stamps <laughs> but um I enjoy sending cards to people so I don't mind at all to buy stamps but yeah so that's what I've been working on the last few, day, few days yeah I think the last video was Friday morning but I actually filmed that last week that was the haul that I was gonna not put out because the June was so loud but then I went ahead and edited it edited it anyways and put it out and uh I think it was okay but anyways, so I'm, I'm planning on sewing here in a little bit for a few hours. <laughs> and then I want to try to get those bags done. Because, I don't know, I just lost my own for making those tote bags. I'm going to make them, though. Get them done, get them up, and get them sent out to you guys. I do ship really fast, but I can't control what happens once they're at the post office. So, I don't know how shipping's going to be with the holiday season. But I will definitely try to, sh I always try to ship the next day. Or at least the day after that, you know. Um, so... Because I know that when I order stuff, I want to get it fast. So I always try to send stuff really quick. But uh, hopefully I can get all these done in the next few days. Uh, there are some really cute prints on here. Let me get the Christmas ones. Let's see here. This is a regular print. It's got owls on it. And then there's like a patchworky looking print. I still got to trim the batten. And there's this pretty glittery one with snowmen. And then there's this really cute one with chickens. With Christmas clothes on. That's all the ones in this stack. I got another stack over there. <laughs> but uh, I did all the quilting. And now I gotta go back and trim. I did start closing one bag. I'm doing. I'm trying to do everything that needs white thread first. And so I, then I'll switch thread colors as needed. <laughs> That's what I try to do so I'm not switching thread colors so often. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the giveaway video. And the first winner still hasn't contacted me. So if she doesn't contact me by tomorrow, I'll be announcing two winners. <laughs> um, another one for the first giveaway and one for the second one. And then the second, the third giveaway is going to be one of these crochet kits. Um, they had a bunch of these. They had the frosty one. They had a nutcracker one. They had a frozen, like the Disney movie. And they had the peanuts one. I think that's all of them that they had at Molly's. But I've seen where there's other ones. And then I was at Sam's Club the other day and they had the Not Remember for Christmas one. And uh, something else. Oh, it's like a Marvel one. Because it, it didn't, like, I didn't, it didn't appeal to me because I'm, I'm a big fan of Marvel stuff. But uh, I thought it was neat. The ones at Sam's Club are more expensive though. Uh, they're not $24.99, which is what most of them are labeled. They're a little bit cheaper than that, but they weren't $4 either. Um, it took all, everything I in me not to buy all of them. Because I was like, I could give them all away. But that'd be a lot of shipping. Um, they have to pay. But anyways, I'm going to give one of them away. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because June doesn't nap long at all. So I'm sure she'll be up soon. And then I will see you guys tomorrow for the giveaway announcement. And I don't know, maybe something else. <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.